Hello, uh, I'm Dr. Hussein from Faculty of Engineering, Sohar University. I will take you around here to uh, discuss and explain to you um, how we work here in, in renewable energy, what are our labs, what are our achievements, who's working with us, what are the equipments. So let me start from here. By the way, this, this lab is uh, located for uh, final year students from different uh, specialties mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, electrical engineering, civil engineering, all of them attend in this lab to have some sort of experience related to different type of uh, renewable energy sources. Now, this is, this is the first system we, we, we purchased here for this lab. It, we have three sets of uh, experiments, one of them for solar um, cell photovoltaics, where here we have solar simulator and we can uh, have some uh, experiments indoor and here we have um, solar water heater, active solar water heater with sensors and gauges and we can um, have some experiment to check and let out that uh, water uh, temperature according to work time and here we have wind speed with different uh, pitch angle and uh, different wind speed this is the source of wind and it could be connected here to the multimeter and to different anemometer to measure the wind speed and so on. Here we have another set uh, for uh, uh, fuel cells. We can here connect it for the hydrogen and the fuel cells, small stack and large stack and multi stack connected together in this way. And uh, this, this large uh, fuel cell actually could be connected to uh, this uh, microprocessor and data position system to the computer to monitor its performance uh, with time. Also here, another uh, actually we have uh, some equipment could be used here to um, build a solar system. Um, our students have started working on this project maybe a few years back. They started with this dish with the mirrors and receiver and they tested the receiver temperature and different meter they have been using different meter. And then another group built this um, the heat exchanger with boiler where the steam come, uh, uh, steam with, uh, uh, with, hot, with, with hot water coming to the uh, boiler and the steam uh, and the steam exchanger and then uh, they spray try to spray it, the uh, hot water down with the steam it's coming from another place with different gauges and uh, protection valves and then the steam coming to the turbine here the turbine will rotate according to the steam and then return back in closed loop. We have a radiator and cooling system for condensing. Also, here we have different photovoltaic technology, polycrystalline, monocrystalline, and multifaceted silicon with inverters, with uh, uh, charger controllers, with different uh, LEDs or lamps, with different rating, and they, they, they Train here how to connect them, how to test them in, in lab and out, indoor and outdoor, outside. This is solar coca for experiments, some experiments could be outside. This is water desalinator actually, where they try to use uh, uh, solar radiation, so temperature coming from the solar energy to, through this system with the concentrator. Some of the parts of this uh, set is in, 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 in the locker here, but they try to uh, uh, convert uh, salty water into fresh water using solar energy with no need to electricity or any other source of energy. This is humidity to, uh, to water converter. Actually, uh, they try to use this system, they built this system in the trees back. They try to uh, convert the humidity into water, and it's, uh, the production is um, effective actually. Um, the remaining are computers uh, with different software used to design and uh, different systems, renewable energy systems, or even um, to design a hybrid system PV, wind, diesel, or uh, grid type, the standalone. We have uh, some basic uh, equipment for measurement parameter, anemometer, uh, uh, meters to measure humidity. Uh, temperature, um, uh, ambient temperature, uh, temperature of the cell or metal, um, uh, and some, um, definitely the, the tools and devices need, needed for any project is uh, available.
you can see here we have three systems. These systems are standalone system, grid tight system, and tracking system. The standalone system here is 1680 watt, okay? 1860 watt, where we have uh, 12 panels, each 140 watt. And here we have a connected series parallel to uh, take the wires or the cable down inside to the lab. Here we have 10 panels, 140 so all uh, to, together uh, 1,400 watt. Now the other uh, two panels here is 280 watt, which is a tracking system. You can change the orientation uh, as you desire to, to have experiments of uh, solar tracking system even tilt angle you can't change. This system actually built it after we um, have done um, uh, a study on the optimal uh, tilt angle for uh, solar photovoltaic here in Oman and we got it to, to be 27 for a fixed system annually uh, to get the maximum power um, production of the system. So we built this system with a 27 tilt angle and then the cables coming through the trunk here to inside to the lab. There is another four system, which is system number four there on the other side, which is wind solar. There is panel, horizontal panel there, and the wind there, the, the wires or the cables coming to the, uh, to the lab. Let's go inside to, to, to continue in our uh, discussion and explanation. Hello again. Now, um, this is our lab, Solar Energy and Research Lab. Now, um, the cables coming from the fourth systems from outside, from these two holes, and distributed. The first system, which is a standalone system outside, the cables coming here to the controller, charger controller, with microprocessor connected with them. Then, Part of the output from this system is to go to the battery banks and part to go to the load. Let's talk about the battery banks. It's coming to the battery bank to charge the battery banks. Since the battery is going to be the only supply through night. There is no generation from the, or production from the PV. Then it's coming on night. Definitely we need the protection here, fuse uh, box to protect the batteries. And uh, then the other part output from the micro the controller here charger controller is the cables coming to the load where we have distribution uh, load distribution box with inverter here to convert from dc to ac so either we have dc output or ic output and you can see these slides is working for the last seven or eight months continuously without stopping so the, all the lab actually all the lights in the lab is working continuously for uh, uh, six or seven months. This is the standalone. For a grid, for grid tied system or connected system, the cables coming directly to the inverter. Here we have control inverter with a meter with um, uh, uh, the, 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 with a control system inside. The uh, cable coming in outside uh, output from this inverter is cables to be connected to the grid. Then it's to produce electricity and inject it directly uh, to the grid. The remaining is. There is chip inside, microprocessor and chips inside, which is uh, transferring the output data. Since we are talking about a research project, then we need data, I mean voltage, current, power, energy, and continuously. So data coming through this sunny box, and then coming through the cable to the computer, and then you can, uh, we can open here the uh, Explorer and access through username and password to download the data um, uh, anytime. Um, uh, this is number system number uh, two. System number three is the move, uh, uh, solar tracking system where the charger controller is here and the batteries are here and these are uh, sample of load. Uh, it's working for the last maybe uh, 10 months. Now for the hybrid system, the hybrid system you can see here it's rotating now because there is wind, wind coming and there is solar panel down with it, so the cables coming inside, these are the inverter and the cables and the load connected to this uh, system. Now, beside these four systems, there is a weather station. The weather station on the top of, of the lab, and you can see here, 
the data logger, all the sensors wiring coming to the data logger and then connected here, this, that, this um, uh, uh, data logger could be supplied either by electricity from the grid or from the battery or from even solar panel. This is a solar panel, it's solar panel. And then cable, uh, the output from data logger is a RS-232 cable to be connected to the computer. There is a specific software here. We download the data uh, instantaneously. It's already downloading uh, automatically. Also, so data coming from data logger for environmental parameters and data coming from Sunnybox and um, uh, the microcontroller to the computer through different softwares, but still we need backup. So we, what we did, I designed, tried to design this system with the help of uh, British England, from England, company from England. They work with me on this uh, system where this is data acquisition. Uh, um, uh, it's div manufactured to uh, handle heavy duty actually because I wanted to work for a long time to stay with the system and we have here uh, 16 uh, channels uh, 8 channels here already used for current and voltage 8 times 2, sorry, 4 times 2, 4 voltages, 4 currents times 2, 8 so 8 sensor to measure voltage and current for the 4 different systems also here I have uh, another sensor to, to measure the solar radiation, to measure another sensor to measure the ambient temperature, and the three sensors actually to measure the back panel temperature for the uh, three output system, outside uh, outdoor systems, the standalone, the grid tide, and the tracking system. Then from data logger, to, it's connected to this computer, which is touch screen, industrial computer, screen computer, or should be PC here the, on, the, on the roof, it's movable. And um, the data is uh, plotted here through specific software and downloaded every second, which is really interesting because the data here is not every, uh, let me say, 15 minutes or one hour, half hour, one hour or uh, two hours. It's every second. So we have, a, a, a let me say, a good band, a data bank here. We, we can take the data through flash memory external hard disk to analyze by different uh, researchers or students working with me in this project. Now let me show you some of our achievements from this project. So well, let me close the door. And then uh, these are sample of our publication. The first paper here with the title of sizing of standalone photovoltaic battery system at a minimum cost for remote housing electrification in Suhar, Oman. Now this paper have been published in um, uh, energy and building in Al Zavir, uh, uh, which is a Q2 uh, uh, journal. Uh, impact factor is 2.68 uh, in 2012. Now, um, uh, in this paper, actually, we design uh, optimum system for Oman, and uh, we give recommendation for the government, or for, for the people in, in working in this field, um, about important parameters uh, for the design. These are, as example, I will give example from our achievements here, Tilt angle. As you know, tilt angle is important because based on tilt angle, your productivity is different, it's changeable, okay? How much power I will produce, this is depend on the tilt angle, and tilt angle depend on the geographical side uh, parameter. So here we found the optimum tilt angle for a tracking system, for a standalone system, if this system is uh, fixed, 20, uh, sorry, 365 days, I mean, it is not movable, not changeable or if it is changeable seasonally, it means uh, and the, either two seasons or four seasons, as you know, in the uh, tropical belt, there is two seasons, hot, or let me say warm and uh, cold, while outside the tropical belt, we have four seasons, so 25, 20 to 25% of Oman land is uh, outside the tropical and uh, inside the tropical, the remaining is 75 approximately. So we build, um, we try to make optimization for the tilt angle to 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 and to know what is the optimum uh, tilt angle for two seasons, four seasons, and also if the system changeable monthly, each month, 12 months, then how how much the tilt angle uh, should be. Also, the capacity factor uh, have been uh, found here for to 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 judge the technical. 
um, uh, view of the system, technically how it's performed technically, and the yield factor of the uh, system. Another um, actually paper here have been published in Photo Energy, which is also ISI journal, uh, high impact factor Q2, and uh, the impact factor is uh, now in 2013, it became 2.6. Now, the title of this paper is uh, A Novel Numerical Algorithm for Optimal Sizing of Photovoltaic Wind Diesel Generator Battery Microgrid Using Loss of Loss uh, Load Probability Index. In this actually paper, we uh, propose a new algorithm. Based on this algorithm, our uh, design procedure will be become uh, clever and fast in comparison with other uh, type of uh, commercially available um, uh, software used to, for design. Um, uh, we compare our results with one of the most um, well-known uh, softwares, which is Homer software. It is used by researchers and some companies working in the field and students in universities. And we found that our system is more uh, active, give accurate results and um, uh, faster than um, uh, Homer. Uh, based on this, actually, we designed software, uh, we call it as RIPS, which is Renewable Energy Power System in Oman. This software, actually, based on MATLAB, uh, it is used to design photovoltaic system for standalone or grid-connected or hybrid PV diesel system. It's easy to uh, use this software. The data input required is simple, and uh, the important um, Part. It's not only analyzing the data here actually, and uh, it have many duty. But the important issue, it give the optimum uh, values for the different part of the system. Optimum value for the PV, optimum value for the inverter, optimum value, all the components inside the battery, and so on. So, which is not available uh, in in other uh, softwares. Also, one of the achievement is we published here a book in, um, in Germany, uh, actually uh, publishing house Germany in Germany, which is have the title Photovoltaic Power System Perspective in Oman Technical and Economical Study, which is I, I recommend it for people who would like to work or invest in Oman in photovoltaic to go through this book because we try to put here our thoughts, our idea, most of our achievements, which is useful for people uh, working uh, in the field. Also, here are actually some of uh, our um, um, activities have been published in uh, press release or media. You can see some of our students participated in different symposium, conferences, workshop. Uh, they gave presentation, um, and uh, some press releases have been written in Arabic, actually talking about uh, our uh, research uh, project here, and some of the students participate in this uh, project. Um, some of these conferences, either in Oman, in UAE, in UK, in China, in Malaysia, so in different places actually.